guys welcome back to the channel i hope you're all well and having a lovely thursday happy weekly vlog i just realized that i didn't really intro this vlog me and mia were just like bam we're in manchester and i was like wait jody that makes no sense so this vlog includes a trip to manchester it includes my full hair routine because i get a lot of questions on like how i grow my hair how i keep it healthy and all that so i film like my full hair routine which is super fun so that's towards the end of the week and yeah i've been very productive i've had so many parcels so there's lots of hauls um yeah so enjoy guys i didn't want this to be too long but i hope you enjoy and um, if you do don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like enjoy from me and frank guys we're in manchester city girls <laughs> we're living what a lovely room. start to the week we're literally living at our room every influencer's dream yeah all of our favorite free girls bus ride. free bus Thank ride you bus. absolutely the experience was great it's 11 i think it was 11 11 11 11 11 14 we've come to manchester for the day we're going to do some shopping we're just walking to zara we're so excited we're so excited it was up right one sec it was so early we got into Birmingham, we got the bus here, and we're here for the day. We're gonna get some lunch. Where's she gone? <laughs> I'll give you guys an OOTD when we stop somewhere. But yeah, we're heading into Zara and we're excited for a we're gonna get fun day of exploring. Food. We're gonna go in the shops. I'd really love like it does a, such a different scene. Like I know. So different to Birmingham. What, what would you and like? so different to London. Like I thought fancy like a bot like a cool bowl, you know, of like a yummy. Yeah. I don't know what. But just something re oh. <laughs> you I'm you so know. hungry. I'm Starving. It's that awkward time now. It's like, do we just get a snack now to hold us over? Should we get like, um, like a, a some kind of cool drink? Like a yeah. Oh. Guys, look what we got. Iced, iced ca cappuccino. Iced caramel cappuccino. Me got Oreo. Oh, yeah. I've never tried Tim Hortons before. You ready for our first experience? Cheers. Cheers. Wow. That's so sweet and nice. Come on. That's good. I feel good. I feel good. Unreal. Wow, look how cute the mango is. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my God, it's cool. The vibe, guys, look how like aesthetic it is. Wow, the three strips. Oh shit. Me too. I thought we might have one. Are they good? Yeah! They actually are. Yeah, nuts! Wow, look guys. We got photo booth pictures in Urban. They're so cute. I'm so happy we can both have one. Yeah, me too. And one for a present. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we're in Zara. I saw this blazer yesterday and I really liked it, but they didn't have my size. This is the product code. I'm gonna get it. I've got it medium. We did a full mission. I tried it on in large with a tracksuit and everything. It's really cute. So that's my first product purchase. And Miss Mia has just brought. I mean, she's in the process. Give me a second. It's like a knitted, but not. Like sweatshirt. How cool is that? Really happy with that. Off we go. Let's tap the cards. Here we are, city girls. We went to Selfridges. We just had a look round. Um, you we know, were very just window inspired. shopping. We were. There's so much cute stuff at the moment. Um, but we just so much to have for lunch. Mia's just sorting our transport home. Um, I'm thinking. Can you see that? The real great. We had that when we went to London a few months ago and we absolutely loved it. It was so yummy. It was so good. Like we was obsessed. We was like, wow. The hummus. And they don't have one in Birmingham, so that could be an option. It was beautiful. It was. Do you remember? I, re I remember. But then I'm thinking, do we do something different? I don't know. Oh, no. I'll just hold. Um, okay, this is my this is, I think, old ASOS men's, I'm not sure. Really? Well, I thought it was a new one. No, no, it's old and it's men's. I'm not sure if it's Boohoo or ASOS. PLT joggers, Jordans, and um, half top. to 
Sorry, go off to me. Sheen Top, Louis. These are Primark. Really and cool. I took my earrings out because my ears <laughs> instantly ears look affected. Looks sure. really hot. I'd put some salt water on it. Like, she want to wear earrings in Prague. I know. I think I might need to take a break this week. I do. Um, even by the self, we just like that sort of wall could look cool. Yeah, it could. For a picky wicket. I know, this is a bit runny, but yeah, we're going to get a pick before we go. But this has just made us realise we really like. And we need to start venturing out more because if it costs you under £40 to get somewhere. Why would we not? Like, that's easily driving to Birmingham and back. Literally. Well, well by the t yeah, but by the time we've paid for parking, paid for fuel, yeah, and it's not much more. Parking. Exactly. If you haven't tried this, you're missing out. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. Big. Fun fact, I never even used to like hummus until I tried this. This is a game. And this is the only one I've had. Cheers. Just watching my besties vlog. Hello guys, happy Monday evening. And I've just got back, well I haven't just got back. Um, I've just like got upstairs, I've just had a shower. Um, washed my makeup off, which felt so nice. And I don't think it's acceptable to come online with this hair, don't get it twisted. It's so greasy, this is day eight. However, let me find my lip oil. I fly to Prague for a birthday trip on Thursday morning. No, Friday morning I go to Prague and I just don't want to like wash my hair twice in one week. You guys know like I've trained it to be really good. So it will kind of be good to push it the extra few days and like I just, it's such a hassle. So I didn't want to wash my hair today and then wash it again on like Thursday to fly. So. I thought I'm just going to leave it till Wednesday, so don't worry, I'm going to sort the hair out. Um, I've just done some skincare. I just used the CeraVe. I honestly would say, so I've been using the CeraVe, this is the eye repair cream, and I've also been using the Simple Eye Cream, I'm not sure what it's called. Honestly, like, I'd recommend the Simple more than this, and this is definitely more expensive, so stick with the affordable one. And then I've just gone in with the Fir Thirsty Skin by... Bondi just gone in with this which again is really good um yeah so my hair is such a state but I'm just gonna run some of this cocoa and eve oil through it's the like a virgin but I had such a good day in Manchester honestly I feel like we thrived like we had such a fun day the journey back was a bit stressful um I'll keep it short but by the way I'm just gonna do some cuticle oil um, I got this big pot off Amazon and I've had this for a couple months and i use it most days honestly and it's barely gone down i think it's like nine pounds so i feel like this will literally last me a whole year the right i'm going um so the way there was like fine whatever on the way back we stopped at manchester airport and this man like jumped on the coach like we were just about to pull off and he like ran for the coach and was like let me on let me on and the driver sort of like stopped and opened the door and he's like hello and he didn't have a ticket but like the man was like what and he jumped on and he was like i need to get out of here i need to get out of here and like if you know me and mia we are safety freaks like and um, we get a bit nervous it's, i'm always nervous like if i feel like i'm in a dangerous situation or like feel unsafe and like obviously you can't judge people but the way he was like, he was like, I need to get over here, I need to get over here. And I was like, what? And he sort of like sat down and, and he was like pacing, like in his, not in his, not pacing, but I don't know, but like he couldn't settle. And he was like sat over the corner of us and I was like, oh my God, like what's the matter with him? And then he was like, I need to get off here. I'm being chased. <sighs> we were like, get off, get off. Don't bring that bad energy near us. So I do not understand what was going on. I don't know who's being chased by what he was being chased from like whether it was i don't know but he was like get me off and that like, he demanded the man opened the door and he got off and ran so it was all a bit weird i really don't know what was going on there um i'm so glad to be fresh faced my tan is not the best but yeah like i said we're powering through and um, but i did get a little purchase and i thought i'd show you um we've had such a good day we got home at about I think it was about half five and we set off at half seven so it has been a long day and um, i made me an olive soup heater so yeah i'm going to prague for my birthday so um i need to do some like prague shopping styling outfits like so this vlog i guess is going to be like a bit of a prague glow up as well 
um, I'm getting ready for like a city break. I feel like it's been so long since we went. So I found this um, Zara blazer. It was forty nine ninety nine. Um, I'll link it below if I can find it. But it's this really lovely charcoal colour. It's like a really it, well, yeah, it is charcoal, but it's just like a really nice like mid grey, and I love it because it's got these black buttons on. And um, I got it in. I don't want to get too much on. I got it in a medium. I tried the large, but I went with the medium. I will try it on at some point for you guys, but um yeah i got that and i'm super excited because I, I spotted it yesterday i popped into um zara yesterday with ollie but they only had like i think they had extra small and extra large and i knew neither of them would be for me so i didn't bother trying it on oh, so that's that i'm so excited so i'm going to style that up for Prague. Um, and then as we was walking through the city this lady stopped us and she was from iso clean um, and she said girls do you have your makeup brushes on you but we don't carry makeup brushes so i said no um, and she wanted to test our makeup brushes so do we are but honestly i'm so glad she didn't because i'm a filthy i never clean them um, and she gave us this little test with makeup cleaner so makeup brush cleaner so i'm going to try that and she gave us this little um leaflet so yeah, such a fun day. Thought I would just round off this section. Um, I need to derm upon my face as well at some point. I might do that um, towards the end of the week. But yeah, just thought I'd come on and check in with you guys this evening. And I will speak to you guys in the morning. I'm going to watch the rest of Mia's vlog because I didn't get a chance to watch it yesterday. And then Ollie will be back from football in an hour. Hasn't even started yet. I've literally, as soon as he ran it, went out the door, like ran upstairs for a shower. So yeah, I'm gonna finish Mia's vlog, do some online shopping. Oh my god, guys, I got such an exciting letter for the post. <sighs> Jury service. My dreams have come true. For the longest time. I've always wanted to do jury service. Like as soon as I turned 18, I thought, oh my god, I can be called. I'm nearly 22. Um, I don't I think you only get called once in your life, but I'm so excited. Um a few years, I think it was four years ago, me and one of my friends went to um court for like a whole week as like a work experience thing, and we sat through this trial and I just found it so interesting. Um before I wanted before I decided to like fully pursue fashion, I was actually gonna go and do law and be like a solicitor or like a barrister or something i didn't know exactly what route so i was really interested in it and i still am and um, but I just it's not a passion of life but i'm so excited like what will the case be like will it be like a murder will it be like a stall i don't know but i remember being like so engrossed in the case last time um, and i've always wanted to do joy time so i'm so excited for like all my dreams have come true in this letter i feel really ugly but it's okay, it's for a good cause. Night guys. Something for me, I say I'm so bad. Me and a big dude with a thing like Hello guys, happy Tuesday. How are we? I've just completed my first by the way, this is AYBL. Um little set i've just completed my first spin class in a long time like at least a few months i can't honestly remember the last time i went i used to be such an avid like spinner i used to go like regular you know at least once a week um and i don't know i just stopped going so i just fancied i got to the gym and then i realized there was a class on so i thought oh, i'll go and i'll see if i still like it as much as I used to like it and I do so yeah I'm really happy about that this is such a cool sweatshirt it's from PLT it says you have all you need but I just love the big smiley it's nice to be wearing like such a neutral color but then have the yellow you know um so yeah done the gym so happy about it oh i need to show you what i got from the sis and sinkers pop-up but i went to costco on um, sunday and i got this big pack of chia seeds review of costco i did a thing on tiktok so go and watch it like i vlogged it on there instead of youtube 
um it was really good but i only got the cheese seeds because a lot of stuff was like fun but like until i have my own fridge or freezer or you know own storage there's no point buying stuff necessarily in bulk so yeah um i don't know what i'm going to do the rest of the afternoon i had planned to film but i'm waiting on a parcel to arrive and it hasn't but i've got quite a few things to show you i've got assistant seekers pop-up stuff to show and um, i've had some parcels from zara delivered or from costco if you guys are interested it's supposed to be kind of like a cloud costume i honestly love it it's much Good evening guys, oh my god I feel like I'm just checking in looking like such a potato. This is actually the next day and I already spoke to you guys but it feels like this was the exact clip that I did yeah, last night which just, how embarrassing. Um, anyway, I had an early night bath, oh, what time is it? It's half six and I've literally, haven't had my dinner yet but I've had a bath, I've done all my skincare, I'm just curling my lashes. And I've been putting Vaseline on my brows. Um, and I do sometimes put them on my lashes, but it's a bit early on in the evening to do that. I don't know why we look so blue, but I've got my Primark pyjamas on. I'm so pale, my hair's so greasy. Um, I had a very, like, productive afternoon. I cleaned the whole kitchen, pretty much. Um, and I made this really nice, like, creamy... Um, well, I say nice, I've only tried it a little bit. I made this, like... Shall I just run through my skincare really quick? Um simple cleanser bondi sands thirsty skin ole hendrickson toner um like i said not really much of a fan of this but i'll use it because i've paid for it um but i'd honestly just recommend the simple one um you go lip oil sand and sky australian berries moisturizer such a good little um routine i don't do it every night because my skin just isn't the type of skin that needs um like m m much doing to it either even um i was gonna put this on but i can't be bothered yeah my skin is not really the type that needs like a lot to do it it's fine if you just leave it sort of thing um so i got a zara parcel and i also got the mail <laughs> um a scissors and seekers top so i think this actually might be what i ordered for oh, I'm sitting on the floor, it's just not that comfy i think this might actually be what i ordered for ollie I made this really nice chicken garlic um creamy garlic chicken um i'm gonna link it on my instagram story so i'm sure you guys have already seen it but so good it's like broccoli chicken it's in like this cream sauce and um, it's just such an autumnal meal like it's made me want to do my chicken I mean, my dad always used to make this chicken pie. So yeah, like I've got two parcels from Zara that I'm expecting, but I do think that this is Ollie's because I ordered his first. But I'm going to show you anyway because it's really cool. And if there's any boyfriends watching, then they can head down to Zara. Um, this off in Birmingham. Um, and he really liked this colour. But they only had a large and this was an extra large. This is the product code. Um, he really needed an extra large. Like the large just wasn't. Like he just didn't cut it. So he got a cream of um, the extra large. But yeah, we I said I'd order this. But it's just like a really nice like charcoal-y blue. Um, well, I can't wait to steal this, girls. The fit of it is so nice. And it's literally £30. It's so thick. Like, it's really good quality. Um, and then from the Sisters and Seekers pop I actually got this really cool oversized T-shirt. It says... I think it says... it Lonely at the top. And it's like navy. I don't really have much navy. And it's like... Is it white or cream? It looked cream on might just be white actually in this like really nice font but it's actually their like sister company but it's brother and kin so i guess it's their brother company um it's actually male it's actually men's but um it looked really cool and like the quality is obviously exactly the same this is a medium um but it was just really cool so 
I've all just so think these t-shirts are a lot better quality I'd say than the, like, a lot of the women's stuff that they have I don't know how Frankie um but I've ordered some navy blue joggers just like the casual ones off PLT you know like just their classic casual ones so I thought I could make a little tracksuit up um because it's so big and cute I just thought it would look really nice with some joggers so now Molly's here we can eat our dinner I'll quickly show it you because honestly it's so good um I just found it on TikTok I was really on Sasha I was really uninspired with dinners Spoolie. Um, look at my skin by the way after that skincare so glowing like hydrated but it's so simple um what am i doing yeah i was really uninspired why is it so blue it's as if my camera got a blue setting on hello um, Who is it, baby? Spent two hundred and fifty quid on a monitor. It's got no fucking sound. Your, does yours have sound? Hello, yeah, baby. I think so. See, Archie's just there. Hello. Let's go and have our dinner. You've already had yours though. I don't have any slippers, guys. Don't know mine are. Okay, right. This probably doesn't look that good now, um, but trust me. Right, I'll put a lid in first. It's so good and I can smell it, like the whole house has smelled of it. For two minutes. Bye. Yeah, I just really didn't know what to cook, so I just typed into, and I made these little chips suck. Did like really thin ones for a change. Typed into TikTok, healthy meal ideas, healthy, healthy dinner ideas. And it was just one of the first ones that come up, but it had like over a million views. And all the comments were like, I've done this five times, my family's not getting bored. They were really impressed. So, I'll let you guys know how it is reviewed. But my brother said it's really nice, so we'll see. Oh, good. I'm gonna link that recipe down below. I've just put it on a story, so um, you guys might um, have seen it, but if you missed it, I will link it below. Anyway, I'm gonna make myself a lemon and ginger tea. And then we're gonna we'll go and watch Game of Thrones in bed. <clears throat> Hello guys, happy Wednesday. I thought I would just start the um I thought I'd just jump on here because I've got a perfume recommendation and I'm not the type of girl to try new perfumes. Like I know what I like, I like what I know. That's my sort of perfume vibe. Where should I put you? So I always use either like a fake dupe. One sec. I'm just showing these. Hello. So right, my two favourite perfumes: Marc Jacobs Decadent, love, but it is actually discontinued now. I can't be bothered to lean down. Um, it is actually discontinued. I have no idea whether I'll be able to get it. So like, I've been in the need of a new perfume. And then I also really like the FM version of um, Paco, of Baccarat Rouge, which is, if you ever buy it, it's nine, 10, and it honestly smells the exact same, and it lasts really well, and whenever I wear it, I get a lot of compliments. So mm -hmm. I always take that as a good sign. It's all right, darling, it's just the door. We've got Frankie. Um, anyway, this is the Brother and Kin top that I was talking about yesterday. It's so nice and oversized, like look. But I've ordered some blue joggers from PLT which have come this morning. Um, it's this. It's just different, it's really cool. Like I think it looks really expensive and I love the high neckline. Um, yeah, I thought it looked cool with like the joggers tucked in. Maybe like a white jacket or like a white blazer or something like that. So anyway, perfume talk. I knew I needed like a new perfume because Mark, De Mark Jacobs is discontinuing blah, blah blah had this one for Christmas this is the bottle so it's like you know like the, the boy one but it's pink and I had it for Christmas but if you're anything like me it takes me so long to get through a perfume I haven't even had to open it I opened it the other day it is unreal like I'm so impressed like I just opened it on a whim and I'm obsessed with the scent it's so nice it lasts a really long time 
Um, I really like as well, like Olympia. Um, sorry, Frank, is that making you sneeze? I really love Paco Rabanne. Is that Paco Rabanne? It is, isn't it? Olympia. And also, Paco Rabanne, I've got another fragrance called Fame. I think it's called, or Fade, I can't remember. And I smell it in selfages, it's incredible. So, for reference, that's the sort of perfumes I'm in into. Oh, look at Frankie. Look how cute you are. <laughs> so yeah that's the type of perfumes i'm like into so you can take reference if you like those sort of perfumes too then i would definitely put this on your christmas list because it's quite affordable too i feel like these are like 40 50 pound right could be wrong but i think so um and i'm loving it so hopefully this lasts me a long time but i'm definitely going to put it back on my christmas list because i'm really impressed with it so yeah today's um tasks is film um and then i'm gonna start thinking about packing stuff for prague but i think i might do like a pack with me because i feel like they're always fun um to see like the outfits and stuff and i've only ever done pack with me for holidays like vacations summer never done like a city break i don't think i've ever even been on a city break while i've done youtube so yeah, I'm really excited. The only problem I have is I broke my ring light the other day and I'm not sure if it's going to be... Frankie, I'm sorry, you look so fucking cute. I don't know whether my ring light is completely broke, whether I can salvage it or whether I should just run to like home bargains or something and grab one. So yeah, um, but I've done my hair in a sleek bun. This is day nine. Sorry, but how different is my face up from that angle? Absolutely hate it. But then also, I don't know, I just like my face straight on like i need this eyebrow lifting um yeah this is day nine so i've just done a little sleek bun i've got my favorite old um my old favorite earrings in from anna louisa who remembers when i used to work with anna louisa i really love them and um, this ring is actually from them too but this one has actually gone discolored but i do obviously like wash up and stuff with my rings on so maybe <clears throat> probably is my fault a bit too but the earrings have not discolored at all and i get a lot of questions because they're the thunderbolt ones um and they're a lot cheaper than the maria tash ones i think that's what it's called so yeah that is my tasks for the day i've also got a to-do list how cute is this little um this was it from last thursday but how cute is this little um oh my god come on how cute is that i got this and um, when i used to work at hidden and um, we did like this pr box and um, i think it was like female something international women's day maybe and um, and there was some spare so it means i we both took one but it's so cute it says girls got shit to do and it's got these little heart boobs but it's so cute and i found it when i was tired in my room so i'm gonna start using this for my to-do list i've got quite a few um left and then i also used a little sparkly gel pen so aesthetic so yeah let's get on with the day woo um and i also have a boohoo parcel that's on that to-do list to return and it's still on the floor so bye public service announcement i got the leather jacket off zara the green one that molly may has made the whole of the uk sell out i've wanted it for so long and it just blew up on tiktok but i finally got my hands on it but had to get a size small so i'm going to try it on to see if it fits so i've wanted it for so long and honestly like it's just been out of stock i've never seen it in person like in store it's never there um but i've managed i just went on the other night and it was there and i was like oh my god i must order it and um, but they only had extra small to small but guys it's stunning and because it's like cropped i'm thinking and it's like so oversized anyway i'm thinking that the small could be okay i'm really hoping that it is um it was 60 pound but i think for like a leather jacket that's timeless um, i'm tidying all my stuff up by the way that's like a mess um i'm thinking that it should be okay but i've just changed my top because that blue one definitely wouldn't have gone oh my god oh guys no it's literally perfect. I am sorry. I wonder if it's still in stock. This is going up tomorrow. Guys, if this is in stock, 
Look how stunning that is. Are you kidding? I love like the vintageness of it. <gasps> no. I love it. It's actually perfect. Like I genuinely don't think I'd want the bigger size. Yeah, I thought I would just show you that. But I've had such a productive day. I've filmed, I've done lots of content, I've edited a video, I've started editing this vlog. Um, and it is three o'clock, so I don't know what to do. I don't know ever to maybe, my mum's downstairs, I don't know if to maybe go to like, I don't know, TK Maxx or something with my mum. Um, or I might go to the gym before dinner, but I am a bit peckish. I've had some lunch, but I am a little bit peckish. So let me figure out what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, guys, run. How stunning is that? Imagine like, what's the, oh, this keeps falling out. Um, imagine like grey joggers. I mean, this outfit looks cool enough. But imagine like grey joggers, like a white, like baggy crop top and some Uggs. Stunning. I'm, I'm, I'll try it on with a hoodie. Um, but obsessed, guys. Absolutely love. I'm so happy. I've got some stuff that I need to get done. So I thought I would just go and get it all done. But I'm going to go to the gym. I've put my headphones on as a sign of like vouching that i'm gonna go i've got my bottle here um this isn't actually gym wear but i just want to go and do like maybe half an hour of cardio or something like i just don't feel in the headspace to go and do weight so um remove i've still got this stupid shelf in my car from saturday going to ikea that needs to be moved and put up so yeah i thought let's just go and do errands so i need to go to the charity shop because i've still got a boot full of stuff go to the charity shop put fuel in my car because i've literally got about two miles and then go to the gym get home um do dinner welcome to another day of life Where are we going girls? We're going on a walkie. On a walkie, going on a bear chase. Why is the shelf still in the car? So they're just either side of it. Ollie's gonna have to put up this evening. We're going on a bear chase. We're going on a bear chase. Who, how are we gonna get it's the shelf? You're gonna snap the shelf? How are we gonna get there? What's the song? No. We're gonna go through it. I can't even put my belt on because of it. Can we film a vocal, please? Don't be like that. I'll put it on later. Can you fit my shelf? Did you promise me on camera that you'll fit it tonight while I'm doing my hair? I promise you. Thank you. are the keys for the car. Right, let me just put my belt on because I don't promote driving with no belt. But in. Guys, this coat you're gonna die, I'll show you when we get out. If anyone remembers, what was it? It was a PLT haul I did, and I'm pretty sure it's when I got that grey tracksuit. It was like June, July, and I said, guys, look, don't call me crazy. I know I, I know it's only July and I'm buying a puffer coat. I know it's ridiculous, but it was in the sale. Well, Who's laughing now? Because I only paid £10 for this and PLT are literally selling it again for full price. I'm sure it's like £50 or £60. I'll link it below because I genuinely think it is worth maybe 50 tops. What do you believe? No? Well, I can. I know what they're like. Um, oh, look at me playing with fake juice. Guys, I don't vape. <laughs> look at me, I'm talking like this. <laughs> yeah, so we're taking the dogs on a little walk then I've got to take my little brother to boxing. Ollie was going to play football, but he's not anymore. What are we doing, girls? I know. Blame Ollie. We're waiting for... What are you doing here? Waiting for the off-master. Right. Know, but I'm waiting for you to what, on camera. What, you, you think, Kyle? What are you doing giving him that bowl? He's giving me his scrim tie. Uh, what are you doing with that bowl, then? It's his. I'm giving it him back. Um. 
Then I'm going to start the hair wash process. Guys, this is day 10 here. I thought it was day 8, but it, Ollie, this is day 10. How good's that? Um, so that's the story of Balamore. It's five to six. So what? Gonna say that. That, what? That's the story of Balamore. What don't you like to know? That's the story of Balamore. There is. Oh, what was he called? There was. Look at this spot. Spencer. There was Spencer's the painter. My dad always used to talk about Spencer the painter. He must have really stuck in his mind. Spencer sticks in my mind as well. Open the window. It was orange. I think he lived in the orange house. Did he? I don't know. Remember the pink one? Are you alright? You're on the way? Right. I'll catch you on the walk. I'll show you the coat when I'm out. Right, I'm out now. Right, sand. Walkie, walkie, walkie. Hey guys, I thought it was about time that I share with you my weekly hair care routine. So I've been practicing this routine for, I'd probably say about a year now. Obviously some products have added and changed, but I feel like I've just nailed my hair care at the moment. It's looking insane and I get so many questions about it. So my hair was in some serious need of TLC. This is like day 10 hair. It was greasy, it was dry. So because I put a, quite a lot of like products in throughout the week, I decided to do this on wet hair, but you can do this on dry. I've really found no difference. So I'm gonna use the Coco and Eve hair mask this week. I do like swap and change, but this one is so nourishing. It's a five in one treatment and it is the mask that made me fall in love with hair care. So it definitely has a special place in my heart. So I'm just gonna towel dry my hair just to get a little bit of the wetness out and then just brush through it with a wet brush. This is from TK Maxx, I believe. Then I just start applying the mask all from my roots into my ends. So I just tie my hair up into a little bun and you'll see I really focus the mask around like my face frame just because I find I get a little bit of breakage from doing like the sleek back look that so I just want to combat. So then I will just sleep in this mask and the next morning wake up this is how it looks. So into the shower, I'm going to wash my mask off to start with and then the first product I'm going to use this morning is the Bond Building Pre-Shampoo Treatment by Coco and Eve. So I apply this onto damp hair and since using it, I've been using it for about a month now to trial it for you guys and I've found my hair to not only feel but look a lot more healthy. So it's all about restoring and repairing any hair damage. So I leave this in for 10 minutes and then wash off before going in with my shampoo and conditioner. Onto the first shampoo, I use my scalp brush. Using these brushes really stimulates your hair follicles, which obviously encourages hair growth. So wash this out, onto the second shampoo. I don't use my scalp brush on this one, but I just find that doing two shampoos makes sure my hair's really clean and also has a bit more volume than just doing the one shampoo. Then I will squeeze my hair out before I go on to conditioner and then look at that. So onto my post wash routine, I will towel dry my hair and then just use a wide tooth comb, nothing that's going to cause too much breakage. Then before I blow dry, I'll go in with this leave-in conditioner by Coco and Eve again. You don't have to use all the same products, it just happens today that I'm using one brand. So I found since using one of these leave-in conditioners, my hair stayed a lot more like conditioned and smooth throughout the week. And then just adding a little bit of hair oil really helps with keeping your hair shiny. And I will add these products like throughout the week as well if I feel like my hair needs it so I just go in with a hair protectant make sure it's all through my hair and then just blow dry it guys do you recognize me gosh I feel like this has been a long time coming 
bless you all for watching a vlog of me with the greasiest hair i think probably on the planet so this is the finish this is how it ends up it's not 100 percent dry but oh, to be honest this, it doesn't take me so long like a lot of people say god i bet it takes you ages maybe it takes me like 20 minutes to dry it thoroughly but um i normally do get a bit bored and give up but i mean compared to when we started i am in need of a cut so bear that in mind but my hair is so soft so fluffy i mean i hate day one hair um, because it is just so fluffy but it's nice to just feel clean and um, i decided not to do my tan last night so i could have like a makeup free like fresh hair day today um, and then i'm going to do my tan tonight um, and then wash it off before we go to the airport so i just thought i'd come on really to end the vlog here but um today i know it's been a bit of like a shorter vlog um i'm just putting on some gloss this is um you clearly glow by you glow um so yeah this is the hair um yeah i know frank is here by the way i know it was a bit of a shorter vlog um but i want to get this video it's mainly edited but today honestly i've just wrote a to-do list and you know when you just feel a bit overwhelmed um i don't know order to do things in and i really well this video has to go up this evening so this is very real time um so I thought I would just sort of round it off now so it can be ready to go. Um, but my day is really just like chase, not chasing, what's it called? Like tying up loose ends. And um, so I need to do some travel insurance. I need to see if I can get a disposable camera. But I know when we were going to Ibiza, they were like really out of stock and they had like a supply chain issue, which is so random because like even different brands didn't have any. So I'm hoping that I can find one in Boots or like Asda or something. Um, so I need to do that, do that. I need to tidy my room so I don't come home to a pig's diet. I need to pack. So I think what I'm going to film a pack with me. So that will be the next video on the channel, guys. That will be on Sunday. So that's why it's fine that I'm cancelling this vlog off now. I'm not cancelling, ending this vlog off now. Don't worry. I'm bringing you guys along with the day. Just it will be in a separate video on Sunday. Um, so I need to pack. But my stepdad isn't getting my case out till this evening. So I think I'm just going to like lay everything on the bed um, and then i can just pack it up later tonight so that is the end of the weekly vlog if we could call it that half weekly vlog hope you guys did really enjoy it. i know it was a bit of a weird week but i feel like when you're going on a trip like everything like you can't really get in the groove of things so yeah hope you guys did really enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll catch you on sunday with the start of the prague content i cannot wait Bye guys, love you all so much.